Hey everybody, today we are doing the salon suite tour of Beach Vibes Beauty Studio. So let's open the door and begin. Upon entering, you will see this wall here. This is where my refrigerator is and everything. And this is a general overview of my studio. In this corner on the wall, I have my coffee mugs, my glasses, my wine glasses, wine opener, you know, important things. I got these shelves from Home Depot. They're really cheap and I think that they're really cute and great for a small space. And here on top of my refrigerator, we have the Keurig coffee machine and then the Keurig cup holder and then utensils, straws, wine, of course. And then opening the fridge, we have teas, and um, almond milk there, different kinds of herbal teas, snacks. Um, I have coffee creamer. These balanced breaks are so good. Hairstylists out there, you know how you have to eat throughout the day? Get these, okay? Um, water, wine, champagne, rosé, whatever you want to drink, I will have it. Well, if you want water, coffee, tea, or wine. On this wall, I have this big mirror that I got from Ikea. I feel like it opens up the space a little bit because my studio is extremely small. So there's a little decorating tip for those of you working with a small space. I got this rolling dryer from Sally's Beauty Supply and I just bring it to the chair whenever I need to use it on clients. And then I got this shelving unit from Ikea as well. And in these little boxes is where I store all of my makeup and I sort it by eyes, lips, face, etc. I got this mannequin head from Amazon to work on wigs. And then going down a little bit lower, we have a storage ottoman. This is where I keep tools, paper towels, just any of those little kind of supplies that I need. I also use that as a seating area if a client brings a guest or whatever. And then these paintings I got from Ross. I got this picture from Home Goods, and I thought that it was beautiful against the coral wall because it's black and white and if you look closely you can see in the clouds a little chihuahua and I got this picture after my dog passed away do you guys see it the little head with the ears it's like jumping across the pier and I thought that that was so cute because it reminded me of my dog Maya rest in peace so this is just an overview of that wall I got this rolling cart from Ikea. They have it in, I think, three other colors. And I use that to put my color on it and roll it around when I'm working. And then this is my blow dryer. It's an Elchem Titanium Rose Gold. I love it because it is very lightweight and plus it just matches my whole motif that I have going on at Beach Vibes. I have a cross over my door. I pray over any new place I move into, work at, whatever. And then right here is where I hang my aprons. And I got that one from Sally's. It's clear, it's really cute. And then this little hamper right here is for soiled towels and linens. Up there you will see my licensing and my compliance poster from the State Board of Cosmetology and Barbering. Right here is my iPad holder. I got this mount from Amazon and it's really cool because clients can pay here or they can watch something on the iPad, whatever. And then this is Square. This is the app that I use to ring up clients who are paying with cards. And I will leave the link to my Beach Vibes playlist on Spotify down below, so check that out. Moving on to this tall dresser here that I got from Ikea. They don't have it anymore, which is sad. I wanted to buy another one, but whatever. Nothing good lasts forever, right? I got this metal tray from Ross. It's super cool to put on top of tables or dressers or whatever to hold your products. And then I have my mirror here, which I use to show clients the back of their hair, whatever. I just slide it right under that tray. It's really convenient. In here, I have the products that I use. I use mainly Kevin Murphy products and Amika styling products. They are my favorites. 
So I keep that all up there. And then in this top drawer, I have clean shears, combs, clips, kind of messy, um, but you get the picture. I have ponytail holders. That's my Hattori Hanzo shear case. Um, love Hattori Hanzo, by the way, if you're thinking of purchasing from them, I definitely suggest doing that, especially for beginners who need to pay in payments. I think it's great. <laughs> that was really long. Okay, so these are feathering razors for my razor, and then I have pin curl clips, whatever, all kinds of things up here, and this is all clean. This is kind of a random drawer here that I also put clean brushes in, which my brushes are soiled right now. I need to clean them. But in here I have a perfume from Scentbird. No, this is not sponsored, but I seriously keep this at work because, you know, I'm up close and personal with clients. You know, I have a chapstick. I have a hand cream up here because I'm washing my hands. My hands are always wet all the time. So just little things like that. Um, little toiletries that I keep for myself at work. I have a diffuser there. I have a glove there, which that's just kind of like a random drawer. <laughs> and then here I have towels rolled up. Now most of my towels are in the laundry as I'm um, filming this. So I have towels and capes there. Those are bleach proof black towels. And in here I also put towels. Again, it's empty because I'm doing laundry. And in there I keep the towels that I use to clean. As you can see, those towels are like stained with color and everything. Um, and then this is my drawer that I use for my electric tools, curling irons, flat irons, deep wavers, everything that you plug in. Now this is the station. This is where all of the magic happens, okay? Another big mirror from Ikea and then the lights that you see on the side are from Home Depot. These lights are actually under cabinet lights that I just put on the wall because I wanted light to come toward the client's face as I'm working on them. Really beautiful lighting there. And then here I have this little low table that I got from Ikea as well. And then these baskets are from Home Goods. I wanted to display my business cards in a creative way. So I got this little cute glass box from Ross and then I put seashells and rocks in it there. And then I have some mints here for my clients and for myself because we get up close and personal. And then some tissue. I feel like, you know, tissue is necessary at all times. And then I got books instead of magazines so that way I didn't have to throw away magazines every month or whatever. This is where I display links to my social media, the Wi-Fi password, and a little sign for Yelp. If you love your service, leave a review. And then this cabinet below, I got this from Walmart actually, and I painted it myself, which you could probably tell. <laughs> I did a horrible job. And then in this top drawer here is where I keep paper goods, like cards, pens, things like that. And then in here I have a um, an index card holder where I keep all of my hair color formulas. I actually got both of these things from the dollar store. So it's really cool, you know, if you do a formula, you want to write it down so that way you know what to do the next time your client comes in, right? And then below that, I have just cleaning supplies, trash bags. I have some ibuprofen because isn't it the worst, girls, when you start your period at work? Ugh! Lint roller, barbicide, you know things like that. In this corner is my shampoo bowl and my color mixing area, my makeshift color room, all of that. Along the wall here, I have this wine rack actually that I hung up on the wall, as you can see. And this is where I put my most used developers. So I use Schwarzkopf Blonde Me to do highlights. So I have a 40 volume, a 20 volume, a 7 volume, and then a Redken Shades EQ processing solution, and then a clear processing solution. These are like the most used developers that I use. <laughs> and then here is where I disinfect my tools, a scale to measure colors, and a bunch of clips for when I shampoo the client's hair, and then I clip it up after I shampoo. There's a shampoo bowl there. And then my back bar, I have plastic caps, gloves, some color touch here. So that way your client doesn't leave with uh, color stains. 
and then there's some Olaplex number two, some different shampoos there. And then I got this shelf from World Market, which is perfect and amazing, you guys. I got this set of drawers from Ross as well for about 50 bucks. It rolls and it's really slender, so it fits into a small space. Up here is where I mix my color, and in this first drawer I have color bowls, color bottle applicators, and then my Fremar brushes, of course. The best color brushes in the business. Don't get it twisted. Um, I have some for balayage, some for little pieces of hair, some for big ones, some for just everything. Um, a balayage paddle or board there, and then this little... I I forget what this clamp thing is for to squeeze out color. Um, whisks, again, bowls, anything that has to do with mixing color. I also have a wide tooth comb there to comb through the client's hair when they're at the shampoo bowl. And then in this drawer, it is Redken Shades EQ Gloss Heaven. And so I'm picking up this bottle to show you. So that's a 6GN. But because of the way I store them, I just take them and then write the color on top of the bottles so that way they are easy to find. And believe it or not, this is organized <laughs> from, from darkest to lightest, okay? It makes sense to me. And then in the back here, I just have random colors. I also used it to kind of keep the, um, the Red Can Shades EQ from tipping over. And then in this drawer, I just have random color odds and ends. I have half empty tubes of color that I threw away the box foolishly. Um, little travel Olaplexes, Redken color thickener. I think I have a clay additive for um, lightener. I think I have a Joyco color eraser. Just all kinds of little things like that. In this drawer here, I have all the soiled brushes. <laughs> that I need to clean after I film. But just to show you, this is an Ibiza brush. My favorite round brush, the best, the best in the business, okay? Don't get it twisted, Ibiza brushes, not sponsored. None of this stuff is sponsored, by the way. I wish, I wish it was. Um, and then this is where I dispose of my feather blades. And this bottom drawer here is where I keep extra gloves, balayage film, and anything that is a disposable supply, new disposable supplies, okay? And then right here is some more cleaning stuff. This is where I keep my broom and then my Swiffer um, mop thingy. And then this beautiful cabinet here, let's get into it. Ah, wasn't that horrible? Okay, so I got this cabinet from Sam's Club and it has changed my life. I never thought a cabinet could change my life, but it has. Up here is where I keep my Pravana permanent color and it's in order chronologically and then also from shades. So neutrals to ashes to golds to coppers, things like that. And then um, some gloves, some foils, some relaxers there, and then up here, some specialty shampoos like clarifying shampoos, neutralizing shampoos, things like that that I don't use on a daily basis. These are all of my cream developers. Um, I have Pravana and then Schwartz Coffee Gora there, some other ones um, that I don't use as often. Olaplex Major Key, Olaplex number one there, and then a number two in the back there. And then I have some Brazilian Blowout Keratin Solution. That's what I use for a stronger, you know, if a client wants their hair to be straighter. And then I also use Keratin Complex if they don't want as much curl reduction. And here I have my Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Lightener, my personal favorite lightener. And then here we have my favorite color remover. That's the Pravana Color Extractor. And then again, I got this big cabinet that actually locks also from Sam's Club. This is an overview of that whole section.
this is just a quick overview of my entire studio but I know it's small but I love it so much this is where I work I love where I work um, I love the city that I work in and I love my clients and this is honestly a dream come true for me to have this little studio here and it wouldn't have been possible without the people who donated to me in the beginning. I raised, I think I raised about $1,500, maybe $2,000, something like that. And so I wanna say thank you to those of you guys who donated. That was two years ago and I've grown so much in my career and my business. And I wanna say thank you guys. Thank you all my clients. Thank you to my viewers and yeah stay inspired you guys this is just the beginning for me take every good opportunity you get and run with it dream big and people will support you okay so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my salon suite tour and you guys will see me in my next video thank you so much for watching bye